In this video, we're going to write code in Excel VBA that allows us to open all of the files in a path of our choosing, make edits to those files, and then save and close those files. So what you see here is the finished product of what we're actually going to create today to give you a preview. I have an Excel file here that has a path in this cell here and a button to open all of the files. So in this path here, I have three Excel files and each of those files has orders for the month for three different branch locations. What we want to do is create code that will open each of these files, add borders to the headers, and add a yellow fill color to the headers on each of those files. So I have my path here. When I run this, it will open each of these files, make those edits. Once it's done, I'll get a message box that tells me all the files have been updated. And when I go back into any of these files, you can see these edits have now been made. So the first thing we want to do is get our path value for the folder we want to get to in this cell here. So we just did the month of January. So I want to go back out and go into the next month, February. So I'm going to copy this path here, paste it in cell C2 here. So now we want to get into the VBA editor window. You can do this by hitting Alt F11 on your keyboard. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We'll call this subroutine open files, if I can type here. And we'll begin by declaring some variables. So the first variable is going to be called TWB, which stands for this workbook represents the workbook we're in now, which is the workbook that will contain our code we're writing. So then we're going to have a variable called this worksheet that is going to be as the data type worksheet represents the sheet we're on now. We're going to have a variable called path and that is going to represent the value here in cell C2 for the folder path that we want to get to and open the files in. So that is going to be as the data type string. We're going to have a variable called files and that is also going to be as the data type string represents the files that we want to open in that path. We're going to have one final variable just called WB for workbook. It's going to be as the data type workbook and that just represents each of the files we want to eventually open and edit in that path. So we're going to set our first object variable, this workbook object equal to, shocker here, this workbook. We're going to set this worksheet variable equal to this workbook variable we just created and then worksheets and we could either put sheet one here as text or just reference the index number it is the first and only sheet here so we'll just use the index number we have our path variable which this is going to be equal to the value in cell c2 here on our this worksheet variable so I'm going to reference this worksheet variable and then range c2 and we want to get that value so now we have a variable called files and this is going to be equal to the directory function and what this function will do in this scenario is we provide a path which is going to be a combination of our path variable which contains a reference to the location of the folder and then what we want to do also is use the and symbol to join this to a 
forward slash and then we want to open all of the Excel files eventually in this path. So I'm going to add a wildcard and then dot XLSX. So what this will actually return is the first Excel file it finds in this folder, which is going to be branch1.xlsx. That is what that will return, the file name. So now what we want to do is add a while loop. So we're going to begin with the keyword while and we want this loop to run while our files variable is not equal to nothing or just a blank because once it that file variable gets to nothing it means that we have looped through all of the Excel files in this folder location and we're done. So that is why we have it structured that way. And what we want to do during this loop is set our workbook variable, which represents each file in this folder, equal to workbooks and open and we need to provide a file name path. So that is going to be equal to a combination of our path variable. And then we need to use the and symbol to join this to a forward slash and then another and symbol to join this to our files variable. So once we have that open, this will open the first Excel file it finds in our folder. We want to add a with statement because we want to do multiple things. So with workbook and then worksheets and each of these only has one sheet. So we're going to use the worksheets object and reference the index number of that first sheet and then with the range our header range which is going to be a1 to c1 we want to add borders and the line style to be xl continuous we also want to add cell color so we're going to use the interior property and reference color the sub property of that and set that equal to VB yellow we're done with everything we want to do to this particular range here. So we're going to end our with statement. We want to reference our workbook again, save it, and close. So now we need to get to the next workbook because this has done everything to the first workbook it finds in this path. So to do that, what we're going to do is reference our files and set that equal to directory with no arguments. So this, this line of code here, what it will do is increment our files from branch one to the next Excel file, which is the branch two file. So once it's done that, it will take it back up to the top and repeat these steps until it's gone through every Excel file in our folder. So the only thing we need to do now is end our while statement. So we're going to reference W and then end 
that is the syntax to end our while loop there and that should be that so I'm gonna F8 through this to execute this code one line at a time so you can see our path is empty right now now it has the path in that cell we have our files variable which is set to nothing right now once I execute this line of code, it is equal to branch1.xlsx. We're going to perform our while loop, which will pull up the first Excel file, which now it pulls up branch1. And we're going to add borders. The borders are added. We're going to add our yellow fill. We're going to save and close that file. Currently the files variable is still set to branch number one. Once I execute this line of code, it will set that to branch two and there it is. This will repeat all the steps for the branch two file, which is now open. So I'm just gonna hit play one thing I meant to add here is a message box though so we'll just say message box all files updated so we'll hit play to continue our loop and there is our message box and everything is done and you can go back to branch three and see all of these edits have now been made and what we can do is apply this to the next folder can paste this here we can draw in a macro button so I'll go up to developer insert and then button here we'll assign it to our open files subroutine we'll rename this edit files in above path So currently in the March folder, you can see the edits have not yet been made. So we'll go ahead and run this. Get our message box here. I can go back into one of these files. And now the edits are there. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.